Now happen in Lamidi. What it do, you two? What the business is? Now, we just left Memphis you know, from leaving Trinidad, but I got a call, man, and they told me that they needed me right back in Trinidad, so you know what we had to do. We hopped right back on that PJ and shot all the way right back to Trinidad and Tobago because they missed me and I missed them too. Now, let's get all the way into it now. Now, all the videos I made touching on the street life in Trinidad have all been about men who were gangsters and hitters. Now, this video will be different. Because this gangster and hitter is a woman, a tough, well-loved, and respected seven gang member named Dolly Boss. Although she was loved by many, she was also hated and wanted. She was hated and wanted by a group of other gangsters and hitters. Those being the rival gangsters and hitters to the seven gang, who went by the name the six gang. Although the seven and the six are just a street apart, they've been spilling blood and having ongoing many, many shootings and slams for years now. Now, the sounds of automatic gunfire always erupts at all times of the day in the Laventile Hills because an ongoing gang war is going on. Now, that gang war leaves 540 people to be took out a year in Trinidad alone. Now, they're at war for turf, guns, money, and drugs. You know, the usual. Now, the 6 and the 7 gang war started when a boss from 6 and another boss from 7 had a fallout over what? You guessed it, a girl. They got into it over a girl. You know, the usual. How it always happens. After a heated exchange between the two bosses, things got very, very violent. Then the six boss sent guys to take out a seven gang member. But the seven gang wasn't having that. They quickly retaliated and the war broke off, leaving many people to be shot and slayed. Now I will make a video touching more on the six and seven gang war. But let's get into the crazy but gangster story of Dolly Boss, who I must say, and I must state this, that she too was buried in top fashion, along with hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of jewelry, just like Akini Doe Adams was, and just like Sharon Subdale was. Now on August 6, 2024, in Trinidad and Tobago, blood continued to flow through the streets when the country's 19th murder fell to a victim. Now that person was a prominent figure in the streets of Trinidad and none other than 32-year-old Victoria Weta, known to the streets as Dolly Boss, who was tragically ambushed and struck multiple times in Argyle, Tobago, by those set out to get her. Now, I know you all are asking how and why this could happen to a female. Well, that's because the streets has women who play a role in it too. She wasn't innocent, let the streets tell it. She was a gangster. She wasn't a bad man. She was a bad gal. But nothing like Riri, <laughs> you know, she was a member of the Notorious Seven Gang and her boyfriend, who is also the father of her kids, is a member as well. He's a high ranking member and a head bus at that, if you catch my drift. Now, gangsters from Trinidad only go to Tobago for one reason, and that's to hide out. And that's exactly what Dolly Boss, her boyfriend and other members of the Seven Gang were doing. 
They were in hiding because just the day before, they took out a 41-year-old rival gang leader of the Six Gang after clapping him up just a week before. So, you know, this 41-year-old gang leader, who I won't say his name, he was a, a high-ranking, well-loved, well-respected, well-feared head buster within his community. You know, he just so happened to be a rival of the Seven Gang. Now, what he was clapped up for, who knows? But it had to have been something worthy of them really wanting to get him out of here. Because just a week before they actually took him out of there, he was clapped up by those same people. You know, and they had to come finish the job. You know, now, like I said, it's been the ongoing uh, 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 rivalry that has been happening within them people. You know, the six and the seven. They've been having this war going on forever. You know, now, you know, they had to come finish the job. That's why they came and got him again. Now, after leaving the hospital for bullet wound treatment the first time, the 41-year-old gang chief from the sixth gang was told and warned repeatedly by the police officers that his enemies wanted him gone at any means but he told the police you know in a gangster way in a gangster manner if it's my time to come it's my time to come meaning he wasn't worried about it he wasn't worried about them he more so said that in a way that man i'm not worried about them dudes man yeah them dudes clap me up but they didn't finish but it's sad to say that they end up finishing him you know, but a lot of people within the street life and a lot of people that are gangsters and and, and condone and uh and attract those themselves to that life always seem to think that same way. They always had that same mentality that man I'm untouchable. Man, if they those guys is punks, those guys is chumps. Anybody that's not me though, they, they ain't like me. You know, they chumps, they punks. They ain't they ain't talking about what I'm talking about. They ain't out here doing what I'm doing. So for me to be stunting and worrying and stressing about those guys, man, is something that I'm not gonna do. So that's the same mentality and attitude that he had in a response to when the police told him that those enemies that came out and got you the first time are gonna come out and get you again. They're not gonna stop until they find you, man. But him being the top bad man and top shotter and top gangster that he was within his gang, he, he, you know, just him being himself, man. He's like, man, I ain't worried about all that, man. That's, that's my life, man. If they're going to do it, they're going to do it. I ain't stunting them because what they can do to me, we can do to them. Hey, what they've done to me, I've done to them, you know. So it's nothing that he was stressing or worried about, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, the 41-year-old six-gang chief was sitting in a chair when a black Matrix motor car that was originally green, but it was spray-painted black and put fake plates on it just for this hit has stopped on the roadway when five seven gang members pulled out strapped with firearms exited the vehicle chasing him down in a barrage of gunfire you know now they laid him down instantly now it said that dolly boss was the actual driver of that car but i'll let the streets of trinidad tell y'all the story on that and i'll be touching more on that within another video that i will be making within the six and the seven gang war now while supposed to be in hiding dolly boss was sitting outside chilling on the street with another gang member that was within her gang when a car pulled up and a group of men of the six gang exited the car and fired numerous rounds in to Dolly Boss, striking her and another member of the Seven Gang. But fortunately, he survived. But Dolly Boss didn't. Dolly Boss passed away at the hospital, not even 24 hours after doing a hit on a rival. Now, this 41-year-old who was took out the day before was a six gang leader who was in an ongoing war with the Seven Gang. When Dolly Boss and the other seven gang members had hit up the guys from six gang who did it, you know, now Dolly Boss, when she was took out, those same people that had took her out had spent on one of their own and they had took out one of their own. And the reason was because they said that he was playing both sides. Now, it's even said that a month before in July, the seven and six gang war caused a quadruple slam and days after that caused a double slam. Them boys was out there clapping each other up like it's no tomorrow, you know. Now, the six and the seven war has caused turmoil and numerous slayings that are still taking place to this day as you watch this video. Now, rest in peace to Dolly Boss, you know. Now, to the streets of Trinidad and Tobago, much love and respect. Now, I want to touch real quick, real quick, real quick on that whole how the streets play out and how nobody wins in the end of the day, right? Right? Uh, 
the seven gang, how they spent on that 41 year old gang chief from the six gang. They, they too was spent on and done the same way how they done to that. Like I keep telling y'all, man, it's a repeating cycle that's spending more and more than what our earth is doing. You know, this is never going to stop. You know, it's going to be another person who's going to be another Dolly boss as a female is going to end up the same way that she has done. Probably worse. You know, it's going to be another person that's going to end up just like the six gang member from the, the 41 year old who was laid down by those. You know, it's, it's not going to stop. It's going to be more Keenies. It's going to be more Sharons. It's going to be more Sheldons. It's going to be more Sandmans. It's going to be more Shortos. It's going to be more of the Sandy Brothers. It's going to be more people joining Roster City. More people joining Six. More people joining Seven. Not because it's a phase, but more so because of the environment that they come up in. So people have to really not only escape the mindset of what the environment brings, but escape the environment. And it's hard when you come up poor it's hard when you have nothing it's hard when you have nowhere or no place to go to you know a lot of people don't understand that that's why people from those ghettos and people from the slums gravitate more towards the things that are taking place day to day within our environments because that's all we know that's all we have that's all we see that's all that's put in place for us we feel that's our only option if it was other things that was supposed to be good that we could have stirred away and took more time and, and and put our all more into it then it would have been put into the environments that we were raised in we you can't judge us and you can't fault us for growing up and becoming a member of the environment not the society the society itself is is is, is a devil's playground. But the environment that we live in is much more worse than that because it's a repeating cycle that spins faster and faster and it's gonna spend more than what this earth is doing. You know, so we have to escape the environment before we escape the mentality of what the environment brings. You know, and I'm gonna say this again to the streets of Trinidad and Tobago, much love and respect. Let's stop the violence, y'all. Rest in peace to Dolly Boss. Rest in peace to everybody who fell a victim within the streets of Trinidad and Tobago as far as gang violence, drug violence, or any type of violence. You know, shout out to the six, shout out to the seven, shout out to Roster City, shout out to everybody. Much love and respect. Well, I'm going to do a lot of things, but I'm going to do a lot of things.